We're on mute here or not? Yeah, if we can kick off with Paddy David, please, Paddy. Hopefully, you can hear me, mate. Yeah, hi, Paddy. You okay? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah. Um, how do you assess that? Does that just come down to maybe one team took their chances, one team didn't? Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm disappointed and frustrated because I thought our performance deserved more. Um, I've already said there'll probably be lazy punditry with that believes it was expected. Um, but anybody who was at the game today can see that we were in the game all the time. Um, I'm, I was annoyed at the second goal. I feel that we have to defend set pieces better. Um, we let Davies get a free run and I know there was a little bit of fortune in it. Uh, but they were more clinical than we were. 1-0 at half time. I actually felt we were the better team first half. We created a big chance with Timu and a couple of really good moments. Um, but sometimes you just have to say... you nod your head to the quality and uh, you know a good player scored a really good goal and um, but at 1-0 we were always in the game Yeah I and mean, obviously the first goal was some finish but with your Norwich hat on a little bit frustrated that you know you had opportunities they just played around two or three of your players before he whacked it in yeah, a little bit, but again, it's a good player, and sometimes they can do that, as we've seen, you know, uh, in in other in, in numerous other games. So, you know, sometimes that happens, but we never let our heads go. I thought we we stuck to our game plan and and actually adapted to our game plan today really well because you know it was a different system for us, um, and I thought we adapted to that really well. I was going to ask you about that. What what what, what was in your thinking? Because yeah, you, 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 in terms of possession and control of the game, that switch worked really well with the three at the back and the two wing backs. What was you thinking with that one today? Well, I just felt you know if you go gung ho against uh, a Spurs team with a front front three of Mora, Son, and, and Harry Kane, you can leave yourself very open and and get yourself undone pretty quickly. Um, you know, Mora and and Son have got unbelievable pace and trickery, and uh, Harry Kane we know can create and score at will at times. So um, we didn't want to go gung-ho. I felt having three three centre-backs in behind their three would would nullify them a little bit. And I thought that did we did that really well. Um, but on the other side of it, I wanted to play with a two up top and go and create them some problems, which I felt we did as well. Yeah, I want to ask you about that. The first start of the season for Adam Eder, how did he uh, sort of uh, you know adapt to what you wanted to alongside team of yeah, he did okay. I mean, he's, he's been short of game time, um, you know, and you could see that at times he got caught offside a, a couple of times, um, you know, but he's a game lad. He competed really well. He'll be he'll be disappointed with the big chance that came his way. It came in really quick. And I think all on this side of the stadium thought it was in. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. When you get past the result, maybe the dust settles, will you probably take quite a lot from this game in terms of you've come here to a, a team who probably will feel will be competing at the top, top end of the table and didn't really look um, out of place in a lot of facets of the game? Yeah, I think what I will take is that the performance is a step in the right direction. The the result, obviously, in the scoreline isn't, um, you know, and we have to learn how to defend better, certainly from set pieces and Son's goal. I thought they were two soft goals to to concede. Because the longer we you stay in a game, the more opportunities you'll get to to get something out of it. And you know, if we hadn't conceded that set piece goal, then I, I think we may have got something out of it. That's final one from me. Obviously, you knew the size of the task before you came in. You, you, you clearly, you and Craig have had that impact in the first three games or so. But you don't think the belief takes too much of a hit today in terms of what you're, you're you and Shaky are trying to get across to these players and what these players you think are capable of the rest of the season. No, because I think our performance levels have got better. Our first two home games, we took four points from. Our last two away games, we've only took one point from, but have probably deserved uh, a better points tally, um, certainly from the performance-wise. That's your time, Dean. Cheers. Cheers, Paddy. Cheers, Paddy. Uh, anybody else? Michael. Michael, yeah, just, barely, please. Just, just me. I'll just squeeze one in. Hi, hey, Dean. Um, just, just give us your view on, on Billy Gilmore's performance today. I, I mean, you, you can even see in a game like this what he can do with the ball, but also, I suppose, what he has to do defensively too. Yeah, I mean, I thought he was good on the ball. I thought he he switched play really quickly and really well for us. Um, his use of the ball has never been in question. Um, you know, defensively, I thought he did well at times. Uh Tracked some really good runners in the second half and and, and saw people out. Um, you know, people will look at it because he, the ball got popped around him by Mora, but Mora's popped it around to a lot of people during his career. So, um, you know, we certainly won't rip his head off for that. Uh, that's brilliant. Cheers. Cheers, Dean. Thank you very much. Thank thanks, you. Thanks, Michael. Matt. 
Hi, Dean. Um, I mean, it is only eight goals this season. Are you going to be able to get there without bringing in more firepower in January? Well, that's our job for me and the coaching staff to to make sure these players who have got potential start fulfilling it. Um, you know, the likes of Adam Eder, the likes of Josh Sargent and, and some of the young lads who, who have signed, you know, will have to start coming to the party. Uh, uh, I've said before, we can't be over-reliant on Timu Puki, um, who can score goals at this level. So that's down to our coaching job. We've got another five or six games before the window opens again and um, players, you know, uh, we have to improve them. All right. Thanks, Cheers, Matt. Guys. Thanks, everyone.